Hey everyone, Nate here, Yarnball Gaming. Today we're back with more Tomb Raider. So, since we've got ourselves a new weapon, aka the Fire Bow, so we can uh, go Rambo on our enemies, I'd say it's time we do a little upgrading. So, let's see, what can we get uh, for skills? Let's see, Hunter. Got this, got this. Mm. Axe expert, use your climbing act to deliver daily st deadly stalling blow to your enemies. I'm gonna take that. Okay, got that. Now let's upgrade our gear. Uh, gonna upgrade the shotgun some more. Uh, slaughter barrel shrap improves gun handling for increased damage. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Okay, got that. So we're good for now, I'd say. So we need to head down there, meet up with our friends. So before we do that, let's collect some a little more loot. If there is any, actually. Oh, there's some loot there. Okay, carefully. And here's some crates here. Take this. There's a journal here. Alright, let's go. Okay, can't, don't have time to read that for now or listen to it. This. Ooh! Alright. Oh, I'll take the shotgun. Blast this. Anything here? I don't see anything. So let's check it out. Ooh, a tome. Let's take this. Take this. There should be a tome nearby, I guess. This. Yeesh. Ooh, treasure. Let's see what this mask, this little statue has. Let's see if it, that it would give us extra information. Oh wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> Made in China. Oh, I see. Nice. I kinda wish this stuff would a give you extra XP for finding more information about these things that you locate. Okay, there's that. No, wait, what was the... Wait, how would you set the bow on fire? I forgot. That's this. That's the regular bow. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, I forgot how to use regular one. I need to remember that. Okay, take this. Shotgun parts, nice. Two out of three, good. And soon we're gonna have ourselves an upgraded shoddy, which is also nice. So, go here. Here, our GPS cache. I think I'm almost done with this place. Just gonna go give a few more checkups and then we're gonna head back to our adventure. This, our GPS cache, also good. Oh, some more ammo. Lovely shotgun shells. Blast that. Go here. Climb up. I don't need ammo, but I'm gonna take this. Extra salvage never hurts. Aha, there we go. Ah, okay, now I'm remembering to put, push one and it'll switch to a regular bow and push one again. Rifle parts. Oh, lovely. Okay, what's here? Oh. Enemies, that's what's here. 
Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Going down. Ah! Yeah. Okay, okay. That was close. Yeah, I forgot we we have a the hell system of a salty cracker in this game. Ooh. Hey, whoa. Whoa. Hey guys, not cool. What? Going down. Oh yeah, I got an AK. Suck that. Actually, it's amazing how she managed to turn the AK uh, simple World War II rifle into an AK. Seriously, Laura, where did you learn that? I doubt your father taught you that stuff. Or anyone else. Maybe Laura was secretly Rambo in her past life. Would surprise me. I think, yep, yeah, I think we're done. Let's go just check here, and we're gonna be done with this place. Interesting. Okay, I think we can go. I believe there should be a, f a tub here somewhere. Oh, screw it. I'll look for it later. Wow, that was some Assassin's Creed style stuff. What's this? Okay. Oh, another treasure chest. A uh, treasure box, actually. Emble figure. Okay. I remember, actually, it's a funny thing, I remember what, uh, what was that game, uh, Tomb Raider, uh, Angel of Darkness, when that game was came, was coming out, I remember there was talks that you would, like, find various items that you could sell for, I think, ammo and upgrades, but that never came along with that game, I, I can't remember for whatever reason, but I think they never have because the game was kind of, like, uh, cut down in places, or pretty much to pieces. And a lot of stuff was removed by the end of the by the game's final development. I recall there were supposed to be like fine stages, more sneaking stages and whatnot. But all that I remember by the end got removed and mired down. Ooh, right in the eye. I wish you could go like combo here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I wish there was like a combo meter here. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I was actually looking. I kind of wish I had the, a Wii U this f with me because there's this really terrible game called Devil's Third. I don't know if any of you people saw it, but look it up. That game is just awful in every stretch of imagination. Like the graphics are dated as hell. That game engine is old, very old actually. Uh, the story makes zero to no sense. It's very badly made. I believe the guy who made it also made uh, the game. Uh, what was those games? They're 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 alive games. I think he made those games and he made this piece of shit. It's very too oh, Jesus. How many of you assholes are there? Will you stop shooting me for a second? I'm trying to talk here. So yeah, Devil's Fur. That game was so terrible. I believe. It from what I recall, that game was supposed to come out like uh, back in 2002, back when THQ was still working, was still a working company before they went bankrupt. Uh, so this game, uh, Devil's Fur, is basically you play this Russian guy, my name is Ivan, who was who who worked for this terrorist terrorist organization. Who are kind of like anarchists from what the game is telling you, but but I'll tell you it's bullshit. It's, they are not anarchists. So they are like anarch this anarch these anarchists who want to like establish a new world order order. So they they create this EMP storm, 
that fucks up the world so the entire world goes into war is basically the world, the entire world is plunged into war and only the EOS is the only country that's you know somewhat's calming down while the rest of the world is fucked like always but what's funny is that this game is like creates this future where I believe America and Japan are working to I can't remember I think it's America and Japan they are working together and they like combine the dollar and the U and the yen into this ultimate currency which is so fucking hilarious on so many different reasons it's just just look at this game up is it's borderline stupid it's borderline insane but it's gloriously stupid in a, in a way it's gloriously stupid so I just I just recommend you people look it up I believe there's su su should be free multiplayer coming out for it which I might actually do a small video on it if it's you know doesn't require too much stuff to run it Okay, there's our sea dog friend. But yeah, uh, Devil's Fur, really, really stupid game of its, I guess, era. And actually, I think it's the only violent game that the Wii U has right now, if we don't count something like Be Bayonetta, Bayonetta, which are more hilarious. I mean, for the Wii U, I can't remember that many violent games, actually. One could say there's zombie you, but eh, that's a game with zombies. And by by this point, I mean let's face, it, we're kind of desensitized towards zombie stuff. So there's that. Uh, what else? Oh Bayonetta. I guess there's uh, what are those games? Let me see. No more heroes for the Wii. Killer Seven and Mad World, but those are all for the Wii. And for the Wii U, I don't remember that was those that many games. So, yeah. But yeah, it's it's a very terrible game. I suggest you guys look it up. You'll maybe you'll love it. Maybe not. I had a blast watching it, watching a let's play done by uh, two best friends. That that was that game was just bullshit in every possible turn. Oh crap, dynamite, not cool. Ah. Guys, stop throwing dynamite at me. Seriously, it's not awesome. Damn, fuck your stupid alarm. Okay, who's throwing dynamite? Laura ah! wrong way. Oh waffles. Shit. Oh waffles. Oh waffles. Suck pickaxe. Ooh, right in the skull. Nasty. Will you stop throwing those things? Yes. Fuck your dynamite. I can't fucking answer with the shotgun. Ooh, right in the face. Uh, speaking of which, there's another game I'm gonna do and let's play eventually. It's called After Fallen Sanity. And uh, the reason I wanna do a let's play of that game because that game is weird. It's like this. I don't want to spoil much, but it's like, I don't know, it's like, tries to be like this clone of, oh god, a dead space in a way. Yeah, it's like a dead space clone, but done by a Polish game company. I, I, I'm seriously, you guys might love it, might not, but that game is so weird. It's, it's kind of like interesting, but at the same time, it's weird interesting, but I, I don't want to spoil too much about it. All I can say is like it's Dead Space and Call of Cthulhu in a way. Okay, I gotta question one thing. These motherfuckers are basically living on the side of main from all well, in this city, I guess. This 
Yeah, city made from random pieces of scrap, like you know, helicopters, boats, planes, I guess, and all that junk. And yet they have a functioning tram system made from junk, essentially. And this shit is not falling apart. Seriously, how are they maintaining all this garbage? How is this all this functioning like that? I mean, look, does that's a tram working perfectly fine, transporting I don't know boxes with shit in it. But still, how? It's just weird. Oh crap! Okay, well I didn't drown. That's a plus. And it's just kind of weird that they have this shit show of a town, and yet they can. Basically, live like well. Basically, they have a functioning tram system. You know, just kind of weird for me. I'm gonna need to get more ammo. I can't, can't get ammo here. I think we need to go that way. Yeah, somewhere here. Yep, oh, yep. I remember. We need, to go, we need to go up there. Also, I don't even want to know what's pouring from that. From there, it's like shit juice. Okay, reload. Some ammo. Go here. Jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. Jesus, dude. Cut me some slack. There we go. I should climb up. Now we climb down. And we do some more looting. Because we're going to need all the loot. All the scrap metal we can s find. Okay, there's this. Open up. Grab this. Go up, jump here. You know, I'm gonna wreck this thing. Cause fuck your. Okay, okay. How do you wreck these alarms? Um, yep. Uh, nearly fell down. There we go. Wreck it. There we go. One down. Silence. Challenge unlocked. How many of these things I need to bust? Uh, four alarms. Okay, there's three more left somewhere. Well, maybe we'll find them. So then let's climb some... Oh, I always forget that the shift button does different things. No, you can't climb faster. I forget in which game you do that, but this definitely wasn't this one. Don't forget. Uh, anything here? No. Uh, going that way. Seriously, how do you how do they have this functioning tram system like this? This is bullshit. Okay, climb up. Okay, let's break this. Right. Ooh, nice. Let's pull our bow and arrow. Set this dork on fire. There we go. Grab this. Jump here. Slide down. And when, when we are on the other side, there's a shotgun wielding asshole. Oh, crap. And there's guys with machine guns. Ooh, that's a nasty way to go. I actually like how she picks up, picks up from uh, cover. Peeks out when she fires like like this. This is kind of neat. Oh, these more assholes. Uh, di dynamite, dynamite, dynamite. And Molotovs. Seriously, give me a break here. Not cool. There we go. Got one. Running out of ammo. Yeah, I didn't fly. Good. Come on. Come on. Come out. Didn't make him drop dynamite. Come on. Shit. Oh shit. Ooh, that was close. Can you take up there, that bastard? There we go. Headshot. And I won't, I'm almost out of ammo for everything. Jump. Okay. With these motherfuckers. Oh crap. Oh, 
Oh, crap. What am I doing? What am I doing? Stupid, stupid, very stupid. Ooh! Shit. God, that was stupid. Okay, at least there's a checkpoint. That's good. Ah! Crap, fuck your dynamite. <laughs> Wrong way, Laura. Come on. Oh, shit. Where did he land? Come on. Ah, damn it. You can actually make them drop the dynamite sometimes. They'll shoot their guys. Or, you know, yeah, you like saw that. Like, he wanted to throw a Molotov and I shot him. He dropped it. He set himself on fire a little bit. But it's kind of hard to get this momentum right. But sometimes it's worth it because they they'll blow themselves up and they'll blow their bodies up and even. Where's that shotgun? Will you click? I'm gonna I'll show you shoot me the shotgun in the face. Will you? Oh, need to deal with these pr bastards. Oh yeah, come here, come here, and you get a pickaxe in the face. Okay, that was close. Okay, there's a tomb nearby. And that means there should be a safe point. Good for us. We're gonna go there. Since the tome means more loot for us. More upgrades. And at the same time, we're gonna hit the checkpoint. Which is also good. So let's go there. Reload it while we're at it. As we're almost out of ammo. Ooh, that's a lot of loot. Okay, we can put this, open this. And there's a GPS cache over there. This, come on, Laura, take it, good girl. Where is that tome? It should be nearby if I'm, if memory serves me correctly. Okay, open this. I wonder why. Why do we even need supplies? We don't even actually eat in this game. And yeah, I kind of wish there was a, some more of a survival thing, like in Metal Gear Solid Three. That'd be really sweet. Wow, that's a lot of things to burn and get. I'm gonna go get them later. For now, let's find that tome. Uh, it should be there. there. There it is. There it is. I see it. There's an alarm right there. So we're gonna crack that thing open. And then go for the tome. Crap. Wrong button. There we go. Read down one left. Good. Very good. I like it. No, no, no let go. Good, good girl. Okay, let's go to that tome there. Uh, where do I need to go? Let me go here, here, and there. That place. Okay, thank God. Thank God, thank God. Even here, I think I saw cash in nearby. Ooh, I see a loot crate instead. Up. Okay, so we're gonna end it here for now. So thanks everyone who watched this. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, comments, likes are always welcome. And I'll see you guys next time with more Tomb Raider. So until then, bye-bye.